I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I actually lose followers every day. I'm not sure if anyone's ever just openly said that before on YouTube, but hey, here I am. I lose followers every day. It happens. I'll actually even show you a screen recording on my insights so I, you can actually see how many followers I lose. So on my insights, heading to audience, right? In the last 30 days, I have gained 1,171 followers and I have lost 371 followers. That is just in the last 30 days, right? Now, it's completely normal, especially as you grow, you will notice that you'll start to lose followers on a regular basis. Now, where the trick comes in is you wanna be gaining followers at a far higher and faster rate than you're losing them. And in order for you to do that, you first need to really get to grips or get to the bottom of why you're losing followers in the first place. And that is what today's video is all about. Super dramatic start to a video for me. But today's video, I'm gonna be telling you five reasons why you might be losing followers on your Instagram account so let's get straight to it okay so I feel like I have to explain myself to some extent and therefore start with a reason which explains why I am losing followers on a daily basis right so I believe that the reason why I'm losing followers is because I have had a change in content strategy now this change in content strategy could be anything from as big as you've switched niches to something smaller like the way that you speak about a specific topic has changed right so good example use my account when I first started posting and when I first created my account I was more about side hustles in general, hence the name We Side Hustle, which will be changing to my good old general first and last, last name soon to avoid any future confusion. But basically, when I first started this brand, it was only about side hustles. It wasn't specifically about social media marketing or entrepreneurship, right? It was linked to those, but it was a little bit more broad. And what that meant was that my content when I was first posting was a bit more general in, in the well in the realm of just business as a whole it wasn't niche down enough and that was something that I knew was the case when I started the page but I also knew that I didn't want to focus on one specific area until I had a bit more time to test out different topics and to really figure out where the gap in the market was or in my case what content people really needed from me and after a while I realized that the content what people need is the general entrepreneur life you know inspiration stuff but also social media marketing and because it's so important and people need that to grow their businesses so it made sense, right? So because I made that slight change in my content strategy and my content changed to primarily focusing on Instagram, YouTube strategies and just entrepreneur life, it meant that some people who were following me in the beginning are probably starting to unfollow me now. They're probably seeing my posts and they're like, actually, that's not really for me. Or actually, I wanted to hear more about the business side of side hustling. Or actually, I wanted to hear more about the finance side of side hustling, which isn't something that I talk about, right? So for me, that was the reason why I believe that I lose followers to this day. And that also might be the reason why you are losing followers. Now, before I move on to the next reason, I will say that there is a way to transition to a different content niche. So if you're out there and you're thinking, I can't really make loads of content about home interiors, but I want to start making content purely about my dog. I mean, those are literally the two, two types of accounts which I like the most on my personal page. No wonder I came up with those as examples. But say if that's the transition you wanted to make, there are ways that you can make that transition in a nice smooth way where, don't get me wrong, you'll still end up losing a few followers, but you can also take them along on the journey with you. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, it does require a full strategy. So I recommend sending me a DM on Instagram where we could talk about how I could potentially help you. So with that in mind, I reckon it's time to move on to reason number two. So the second reason why you might be losing followers is going to shock you. <laughs> This one's gonna, might ruffle some feathers with this one. Um, you might be losing followers because of your reels. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. I get my video editor to add that noise, the dun, dun, dun over it because I'm sure I've just shocked so many of you. Obviously reels are a really great feature for you to use if you're trying to grow, do not get me wrong. However, as we all begin to adapt to this new world of reels, I'm seeing a few people fall into a specific trap which is actually resulting in them losing followers. And the trap is that they've created a reel which is not relevant to their niche. So if we use the dogs and interior example again this is an account which is hypothetically always focused on producing home interior content and they have a really cute pup which they post sometimes but it's definitely not one of their niches right one day they post a reel which is purely of the pup it's not of the pup like on a really nice sofa that they just bought or with a new really nice accessory there's no link to their home design it's just the pup running around why am i calling it a pup and not a puppy i don't think i've ever done that in normal life 
It's just the puppy running around, maybe outside, I don't know, playing with a ball. And the puppy is obviously adorable, which means that that reel has blown up. It has gotten 200,000 views. It's growing by the day. People love the puppy, right? So what people are doing is they're seeing that puppy and they're like, adorable, I'm gonna follow it. And by people, I mean me. I'm pretty sure I am this person in this scenario. So they followed this page and then they've hung around and then suddenly they start seeing all these other posts. Like now they're seeing posts about this cushion they just bought and this new lighting fixture. And they're like, hold on, why is this on my feed? I'm confused. This has nothing to do with anything that I like. You've got to remember that people's feeds are like super personal to them. They're like curated book of interests, right? When you go on someone's feed, that's when you really get to know what kind of person they are, what they like. If they don't like interior, but they do like puppies, they're going to be a bit confused and potentially feel a bit robbed. But more than anything else, they're just going to unfollow you. They're immediately going to see it. We've all been there before where someone's popped up on your home page and you're like, I don't I don't care about this like why am I following them and then you just unfollow them that's what people are going to do and that's why you might be losing followers so what does that tell you guys you've got to stick to your niche but especially when it comes to creating reels okay so the next reason why you might be losing followers is because you are inconsistent with your posting now I'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's all these people out there who are checking up on you to see how often you're posting that is not the reality and in all honesty because of the almighty algorithm and how it works there's a lot of times where you might be posting consistently and someone who follows you might not see all of your posts so nowadays it's rare that you think oh hold on that person posted on Wednesday but then I didn't see any of their other posts until Saturday are they not posting every day anymore like that's rarely happens right unless you've got some kind of daily thing that you do on a regular basis then maybe people do notice but for the most part people rarely clock on to whether or not you're posting consistently so where the issue comes in in regards to the inconsistency is more about keeping your followers warm and kind of engaged with your content so this is actually a really big reason why I unfollow probably the main reason reason why I follow any account that I do unfollow. It's because I've come across them anyway. Maybe it's for a reel, maybe it's from the explore page, maybe it's for a friend, don't know. I found a page and I thought, oh, I love them. They seem great. I want to know more about them. I'm going to follow them, right? And then I never see anything from them, right? I'm on my homepage, scrolling away. I'm not looking for their content because we don't naturally do that. But I'm also subconsciously aware that I'm not seeing it, okay? So the reason why that causes an issue is because when they do post, so say I followed this person and then three weeks later, they eventually post. When I see it, I might be all confused and forget the reason why I followed them in the per first place and no longer be warm to their content this happens all the time and i'll literally look at it and be like i don't i don't remember why i followed you i'm just gonna unfollow you or like i don't get what you've just posted like there's so many times where that's happened because i'm not warm anymore you've lost me you got me at the beginning you've done everything right with your profile and then you didn't nurture the relationship so now you've lost me i've gone cold and now i'm gonna unfollow you Okay, reason number four. I think it's reason number four. I've, I've got my notes in front of me and I've jumped around and now I've confused myself. So my video editor might be watching this like, what is she talking about? This is not reason number four. I'm just gonna roll with it. So the next reason why you might see like a little caption come up, which has a different number on it. The next reason why you might be losing followers is because you are too salesy. So this isn't just one for the brands or for the service providers or whatever. This is also one for the content creators and the influencers out there. You need to be careful with how often you are selling to your audience. So when it comes to brands and service providers, it's making sure you've got a mix, mixture of messaging so you're not just constantly like, buy this here, buy this now. And for the content creators and influencers, it's making sure that one, everything's not an ad, but two, everything's not an affiliate link as well, which is something I'm seeing a lot more often now. I'll go on someone's like link in bio or something and just everything is like get 10 percent off here buy this here and it's all just you trying to get me to use your links i respect the hustle probably more than most people however i don't actually want to be sold to that is not why anyone follows you no one follows any account because they want to be sold to they follow for a different reason they follow because they want inspiration they follow because they want to be educated they just follow for reasons other than they want you to sell and push your product so please bear that in mind when you are writing your captions and remember to dedicate a good amount of your captions to just building a relationship with your audience. And the last reason why you might be losing followers is your bio. So some people still follow you the good old fashioned way. You know, they find your profile, they read your bio, and then they hit the follow button. Hard to believe, but it happens. And the reason why your bio might be eventually leading to people unfollowing you is because your bio is not specific enough. So if you have a bio which is super vague and generic, and it promises to share lifestyle content, so just anything, or it promises to share content from a niche that you're actually not really gonna stick to, or a niche that you don't represent that much in your content or it 
promises to share daily inspiration when actually it's more like monthly ins inspiration. Think about what you're promising in your bio. Don't get me wrong, I want you to promise something because promising something is basically providing a value to an audience and it's gonna give them a reason to follow you. So I want you to promise something, but I also want you to stick to that promise because if you don't, people are gonna question why they followed you in the first place and they're gonna hit that unfollow button. That is it for today's video. I really hope you found that useful. If you did, I recommend checking out this video, whichever way it is. I don't get how I still don't know which way it is yet. It's all about how you can stand out amongst your peers on Instagram in 2021. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.